Fucking reading math and geometry just pisses me off. I have to remember when I was younger, I'm dead. Read something else to piss me off and hope I won't be quite as pissed off. We'll go to Psychological Wars, Africa Webmasters. Dot com by from work causes dot html psychological so what happened a bunch of woods <clears throat> realizing the importance of the support of the civil populace nigeria embarked on an elaborate psychological warfare to keep nigeria one is a task that must be done quote unquote become a very popular slogan is what it became it became a very popular slogan. These leaflets discredited the uh, Biafran, excuse me, leaflets discrediting the Biafran head of state, encouraging the Biafrans to lay down their arms with a promise of non-persecution, were regularly dropped in the east, in the southeast, of course. And we go on. It talks about the eastern origin. The thousand people poured in for recruitment. Our troops knew what time it was. They were like, what time is it, cuz? Like, oh, we know what time it is. Oh, we we know what time it is. Remember when I showed you that picture? I know you remember. You know who? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know how I feel. You all know how I feel. Now, training was embarked upon by... Both of officers and soldiers were mainly lecturers and university students. Before the outbreak of hostility, the eastern region had no sufficient arms, since all the soldiers returned to the region did so without their arms, while the soldiers who were drawn from the east departed with their weapons. What was left of the Nigerian armor at Enugu Barracks amounted to about 240 soldiers, the majority of them technicians and traders and not tradesmen, and not all the soldiers had weapons. However, at the outbreak of the war, the eastern region had succeeded in securing arms and ammunition from France, Spain, and Portugal. Madibu remarked, when more weapons were received in May 1967, a decision was taken to from two battalions to be called the 9th and 14th Battalion. So, the Spaniards who were angry at the Moors, the French, the Portuguese, the people who had fought the Muslims in the past, historically, they're like, we know what time it is, we know our fucking history, and they sent them some fucking pieces of shit weapons so we can barely have a chance and get killed, but hey, at least they sent us some. Pilots and technicians of the form, uh, formerly of the Nigerian Air Force of Eastern Origin returned to the region to form the Biafran Air Force, the BAF, two old planes, the B-60, excuse me, the B-26 and the B-25 were acquired with new helicopters. The two bombers were fitted with machine guns and lo locally made rockets and bombs. Locally made rockets and bombs. Ebo, motherfucker! Now, we go on to say, a people's army called the Biafra Militia. Motherfucker. We go on and, you know, it talks about the Petroleum Management Board and the distributing of POLs. It talks about uh, food, drink, cigarettes, the armed forces, you know, and they're, they're giving us the, the, the military industrial complex supplies. And they're saying, we love you. We're going to assist you on our fanatical holy war that, that benefits the Jews and the military industrial complex and the, and the Italian mafia. Because we love you. Bunch of wasps. Bunch of fucking Anglo-Saxon Frank Norman Tutin motherfuckers. That's what it is. The Alpines, the Nordics, the Mediterraneans. Bunch of woods. We go on. They say those covert support and you know recognition of country Tanzania, Zambia, Gabon, Ivory Coast, Haiti, you know, and they talk about Germany, Spain, Portugal, Switzerland, Sweden, Republic of Dahomey, Sierra Leone, and secret importation of arms and ammunition into the region. Okay, so France is double dealing. You know what I'm saying? Double dealing. You know what I'm saying? They're dealing both sides. You know what I'm saying? They're not just, oh, we love, we love you, but we're going to give your enemies better weapons, even though we're Christians like you, because we love you. And we got to sacrifice you and say, oh, us Christians are the good guys. Look what the Muslims did to the Ebos, because they're a bunch of woods, and we're the sacrificial lamb of Judah, in their opinion. Like, your ancestor Jesus did it. So we should be able to do it to you, right? Because we're a bunch of hook-nosed crackers, and we love you niggers. And I continue. It talks about the requisition, the supply. It talks about the launchers, the bombers. It talks about the things that the white man surmises, conjectures, and speculates about. Allegations, allegory, 
The context is quite allegory, is what the bitches will say in court. Bunch of hook-nosed, ponytailed crackers. Oh, we're Anglo-Saxon crackers, motherfucker. As I continue, and like I point out in my other videos, when I say cracker, of course I mean the computer hackers and, and the people that crack into networks, right? I mean, th that's what you would automatically, you know, reasonably... I mean, if we're going to talk about conceptions and misconceptions and your perceptions of my video series about misconceptions, well, in that case, let the debate begin. <laughs> you would. And I continue. Oh, and let's not forget that any insult on the spiritual leader is an insult on all. Who but me walks the line carefully? Represents our interests, corrects the crackers without being a snitch. Who but me? Who but me? Wipes the faggots in prison under the rug quite neatly and makes us look good. Who but me? Who but me makes this gangster shit look good, mother? Fuck her. <clears throat> Who but me, cuh? Period. Now we go to, uh, the clash of arms strategy employed straight up by the Nigerian army, the N.A. They said they, they are formidable. They said they had four to one odds. They said they said the tactics were all the same tactics from the same think tank is what they said. They said, however, each side knew the tactics the other side would employ since they all belonged to the same armed forces before the war. So we all are one big, happy, West Point military tactician, <laughs> evil, fucking Biafran militia family, aren't we? One big, happy, revolutionary, motherfucking, anti-fucking, Wali Jihad motherfuckers. Huh? Huh? With the big dicks. With the big stick. With Judah. With Nubia. With evil. You motherfuckers. Over there in Aguilary, putting it down. Over there in the South. So watch your motherfucking mouth. There's even Ebos up in the Delta. But it's not like we need our neighbors for shelter. We've been done it. We've been running. That's why all the ragheads from Niger and Benin trying to hate on a nigga for keeping it G. Because we've been done it. You know, even though the Europeans occupied and colonized all over Africa, it's still mostly run by the ragheads. What does that tell you? That tells you that Africa is a microcosm. I hesitate to use that word because it's one big motherfucking place. But it's a smaller example of the larger sociological... future the logical the larger social economical political climate of the world it's quite an example how these colonialist imperialists socialist wolves in the skies who are really coming on behalf of the imperialistic guys the monarchy the, the queen her majesty rothschild her majesty and the rich bootlickers who enjoy their positions in society and their social rank among the rabble. Be it the rabble in Mexico, Carlos fucking Sim, a big hook-nosed wood, pretending to be a fucking quote-unquote Mexican, or we're talking about Rothschild, a big Jewish rat, pretending, oh, I'm just a humble banker doing the work of of chastity and charity and love for my fellow man we empathize with the poor here at the bank here at the Jewish bank we empathize with the poor or whether we're talking about Gordon fucking Wood Brown or whether we're talking about Sarkozy or that fascist fuck Merkel or that wood Putin. It's a bunch of woods. 
a bunch of Izanoffs, Askarovs, Zaparovs, a whole bunch of Chetnoff motherfucking offs, okay? I cover those offs in my Russian Mafia video. I cover all those metallurgic, acro medical, fucking metal industry mafia ofs and their fucking minions. I'm not going to give them no more fame. They would love for me to do Oh, give us chess players our credit too. Ruski! Vodka drinking Ruskis deserve our credit in the New World Order too. Us Zangief motherfuckers deserve our credit too. Even in the Boondock Saints, they gave them their credit. Because a bunch of fucking Zangiefs and a bunch of Bobby Fischer Russian chess player motherfuckers have collaborated to stick the pole of the former Soviet fucking Union up your capitalist ass as they capitalize on the capitalists while they pretend that they're not. Who but a bunch of Ruskies want the separation of church and state? Who but a bunch of Illuminist, Bavarian, wise hoppy and Fampresses? Who but a bunch of Women League of Nazis? The Women's Division of the Nazis? Who oversaw the concentration camp? Who but a bunch of Vampress eugenicist scum? And a bunch of Albert Pike, Scottish white, dress wearing fucking fairy faggots from the south. A bunch of Dixie Cracker Mafia fucks. Who but them? Who but the Wops? Who but the Reds? Who but the goddamn fucking mix? Who the fuck you think are plotting on us? Who but the fucking Triads? And the fucking Yakuza? And the fucking Zetas? And the fetter fucking nation. Who but them? And who stands in these motherfucking powerful global organized crime syndicates way? Who the fuck but me? And what they're doing right now? Do you hook nose cracker cops watching this think they haven't done it before? Who you think signing your paycheck, you fucking squealer? But a bunch of fascist fucking fucks and their Zionist fucking pals. It's all a fucking game and a stage. And you're being played by a bunch of scum and their PR fucking pals. Oh, Robert Gibbs. Oh, my, my fascist president, Uncle Tom Stooge Obama. How dare you insult the Christian values of my favorite Uncle Tom. Because my big forehead says I'm smarter than you. Or them fucking Woods of Brinsky. And that leper. And that lesser. Rockefeller and Kissinger. And the other way around. You know what the fuck I mean. I'm young mech. Who but me? Who but me? Is the spiritual fucking leader of the Crips. The Grand Priest of the Temple of Rahoraketi and a cocky motherfucker and a humble servant of God all at the same fucking time. Who's the champ? Who beat the woods? Who warned the Christians at the church? Who but me? A thousand four hundred views before the story came out, approximately. Motherfucker. Who but me? And who would be watching the story but the same motherfuckers that saw my warning and heeded it as well? Who but me? Who but me anticipated the scum? Who but me made Kabaru a bitch hiding in a fucking heater, hoping not to get caught up by my followers with the heater? Who but me? Who but me has Shikau looking like Saddam Hussein hiding in a fucking toilet? Story true or not, that motherfucker know he shook. He knows. Kabaru knew and motherfucking Abu Bakr Shikau know. He know. That motherfucker know that I will milk the cow and put his pitchfork in his ass. Put a nine or some brass and leave the cow 
tipped over motionless on the grass. <laughs>